In this Blender tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can pack external resources into your Blender file. For example, this tile floor has a texture on it, as well as this little animated character. These are external texture files that use images to wrap around the meshes of the 3D objects in Blender. Normally, you want to keep these types of image textures near your Blender project because you may reuse them in other projects, and there's no reason to duplicate all the information and increase file sizes. But sometimes you want to make your Blender project portable so you can definitely move your project around and not have to worry about where your image texture files are or if the paths are correct. In order to do that, we can go up to the top here and type File, then go to External Data, and then right here it says Automatically Pack Resources. If we click Automatically Pack Resources, it says it packed three files. So now, if I save this blend file, I can just send the blend file and it will have all the textures. If I don't do that, I need to send the blend file with the image textures in the correct paths. Then, if I want to unpack the resources, I can just go to File, External Data, and if I unclick this, and then select Unpack Resources, then I have some choices. I can use the files in the current directory, write files to current directory, Use files in original location, write files to original location, keep all pack files, and remove the pack. So there's many different options depending on what you want to do. Often, writing files in the current directory is a really great way to go. I did that. Now I have image textures saved to a file in the same directory. So this is how you can manage your projects in Blender. Remember, you can go to File, External Data, automatically packed resources, and once again, I have the data back into my blend file. Happy 3D modeling.